Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. I hope you're all well. Tonight's video is going to be another retro season review and tonight it's going to be South Sydney Rabbitohs 1994 season. Before I get into the review, I'd just like to give out one shout out. It's to a, a lad on Instagram by the name of 6 Again NRL Column. That's 6 Again NRL Column, it's all one word. Go check him out. He does uh, updates and daily news on Rugby League. He's got about 540 followers at the moment, doing quite well. Now getting to this 994 South Sydney Rabbitohs season review. Before the season actually began, the club pulled off one of the great rugby league upsets when they won the Two East Challenge Cup, which was a pre-season competition back then. They beat the two-term defending premiers in the New South Wales Rugby League competition, Brisbane, 27 points to 26. So that was a massive achievement for South. I think it was their first silverware in quite some time. And I remember at the time it was on the news and it was it was a huge deal back then. And it still is now. Um, for South Sydney in 1994, they finished in ninth place. 22 games played, 9 wins, 1 draw, 12 losses. Points differential, minus 168. The two captains that they had in 1994 were Craig Field and Dean Schifoletti and they had two head coaches they had Bob McCarthy and they also had Ken Shane. so they started off the year after that success in the Two East Challenge Cup they lost their first three matches of the year and then Bob McCarthy South Sydney legend he stepped down in the head coaching role I think he had some sort of uh, health problem something wrong with his heart or something like that and then Ken Shane took over as the head coach in Ken Shane's first uh, match in charge he took South Sydney to a 20 all draw with Illawarra and then between round 5 and round 13 they only lost one game they won seven wins uh, they won seven matches in a row to reach fifth place on the table now back then there wasn't a top eight like there was now it used to be a top five and 1994 was the last year of the top five so at the halfway point in the year South Sydney were in finals contention and then between round 14 and round 22, they only won one match. So they had a completely uh, different form of Vaisal. And uh, that started off with a 40 points to 10 loss against Brisbane. Then they lost 32 points to 10 against North Sydney. And then they lost 48 points to 8 against Canberra. And then some other losses that they had towards the back end of the year. They had a 25 to 18 loss against Canterbury. They had a 30 points to 28 loss against Illawarra, a 34 points to 26 loss against West, a 38 points to 10 loss against Manly, and then the cap off the year, a 42 points to nil drubbing at the hands of Crudulli. So in those last few games, they were, they were conceding more than 30 points a match. Um, so it was a very disappointing end of the year for South Sydney. Daryl Tricky Trindle, um, one of my favourite players in the 1990s, he finishes the top point scorer of the club with 80 points. And Paul Mellie, who was a handy player back in the 1990s, he finished with 14 tries for the year. Um, the 1990s were a particularly good decade for South Sydney in their history. They failed to make the finals once, they come wooden spooners in 1990 after finishing as minor premiers in 1989. Part of the reason for, for South's decline in the 1990s, that I feel personally, was that they just didn't have the money. They didn't have the money to compete like some of the other clubs did. South Sydney had a lot of good players that they couldn't hold on, ho hold on to or that didn't even get a chance to play first grade because they were poached by other clubs. It would have been very frustrating for a, a South Sydney fan back in the 1990s to see the likes of Ian Roberts, Jim Dimmick, Jim Sedaris, uh, Craig Fields, players like that, that all went to other clubs and had varying successes, but went on to play for New South Wales, Australia, things like that. That would have been very frustrating to be as a South Sydney supporter in the 1990s. They didn't have the best squads year in, year out. Pretty much Tricky Trindle was the only one that was there year in, year out throughout the 1990s. Um, after the 1994 season, the club finished 18th in 1995, 19th in 1996, 11th in 1997, 18th in 1998 and 12th in 1999. And then after that, as we all know, they were controversially excluded from the competition. 
Before the 1994 season though, as I said, 1990 they were wooden spooners, 91-14th, 92-14th, 93-14th, and then in 1994, as I said, they come 9th. So anyways, everyone, that's me review for the South City Rabbitohs in their 1994 season. I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, click that like button. And if you if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so by clicking that subscribe button. I'm up to 393 subscribers, looking to get to 400 by the end of the year or by the end of November. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to catch us all later and I'll catch you all in the next video. Alright, ta -ra.